Alright, so today we're gonna talk about something different. Uh, we're gonna talk about guitars. And I'm really into um, making music right now. I'm taking it more seriously, let's say. And I also realized that some of you guys are into music as well. I came across some of you guys in social media and uh, some of you guys are musicians and also into bands. So why not talk about the instruments that I use for my music creation and also um, what are the gear that I use for um, recording some of my stuff. So since this is also a value-oriented channel, we're gonna discuss a value guitar right here. This is the Jcraft XLTX1. So I recently got this as a gift and I do have uh, already my um, vintage 50s vibe Telecaster and also my main axe, the Fender um, Strat. And uh, of course, I'm already used to this kind of body. Um, but of course, this one is different because this is a value-oriented guitar. This is around 4,500 pesos or $100. And for that price, it's quite amazing that you're getting you know, a guitar for that you know, 4,500 pesos. But first, we're gonna take a look at it and give you guys my impressions in this one. All right, so this is an H&H &H, um, configuration on both humbuckers. And of course, Telecaster type of body. Also has a three-way switch in this one. One for using the bridge pickup one for using both pickups and one for using the neck pickup and you also have a tone knob and also a volume knob in the hand it's quite heavy it's even heavier compared to my 50s vibe telecaster which is already i consider to be a little bit heavier compared to my stratocaster it's made from mahogany body and a uh, matte in finish so firstly i do like the overall look in this one with the matte kind of finish it uh, actually looks sick with that black on black kind of design so really really looks cool for you know 4500 pesos and also the pick guard is in gloss finish so it has that kind of contrast which is something i really, really like the neck is a maple neck um open pore satin finish c shape so the shape here is mostly like my classic 50s vibe it's more rounded compared to my stratocaster which is a bit more thin so this is very similar to my telecaster in the the playability the fingerboard is stained maple it actually looks cool also with that kind of um dark brown kind of design this are the overall controls. The knobs in this one, I would say, are not the best that I have tried. It's not the smoothest um, operation, uh, but uh, it's definitely workable. It's definitely something that you can use. The tuners in this one also not the smoothest that I have tried. So, and also the fingerboard is a bit rough around the edges, so it's not uh, the smoothest fingerboard that I have used. So, so when I'm trying to bend, it's not as smooth as maybe, um, you know, obviously the Squire 50s vibe. So yes, um, you are, I guess, getting what you pay for in the fingerboard also. And also another con with this one is the default strings that it comes with is a bit rough also around the edges. So you want to change the strings also for this one. But definitely in terms of the hardware, um, it plays right around that kind of price range. But definitely usable in this one. I didn't encounter uh, major issues. So this is also a fixed bridge with black hardware also. So really looks sick in this one. The paint in this one is actually not that bad, especially for the price. So there's some kinks here and there, but uh, it's not that bad. It's still very, very much playable. In terms of playability, it was actually surprised with the initial setup in this one because it's initially set up to be a pretty low setup. So that's really cool that, you know, um, out of the box, you can um, definitely play this um, with no problems whatsoever. So I did find that uh, playing this one is uh, very, very easy because of that kind of low setup right off the bat. So personally, um, I did use already even more expensive guitar that I didn't like the playability because um, sometimes the neck is too big or maybe um, the fretboard is also too big. But this one is very comfortable to play which is uh, really really cool and because of that low action also it's very easy to um, move around it's not that fatiguing to play in this one so let's try to play this one i'm gonna play it clean and also gonna play it um, with some dirt i'm also gonna play it some lead tones in this one and also i'm gonna try to play this with the track that i'm currently working on um, I'm just gonna noodle on the track so it's not really the song song maybe play some licks here and there that is from the track so you can, you can get a sort of feel uh, on what track I'm working on so the track that I'm gonna show it's not really um, gonna show up in the EP the tracks that are gonna come out are more of vocal tracks but uh, let's try to play this one and let you guys listen on how this sounds like so I'm gonna flip the switch and uh, let you guys hear the neck bridge and uh, all of the tones that you can get from this one. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Where's the Jcraft XLTX1? So right for me, I'm kind of pleased with the instrument for 4,500 pesos. I would say it's a very good value for the money. You have that kind of low action um, playability. You have that kind of sick look, I would say, a black on black kind of design, that tele um, style body. It's kind of a vintage style mixed with a modern style, which looks, I would say, pretty cool. You're also getting that dual humbucker setup. Which gives you uh, kind of that warm uh, kind of tone which is pretty cool so if you're a beginner this is really a good um, value proposition for you even if for you know advanced um, guitarist if you uh, are looking for another guitar to add to your um, you know long list of guitar arsenal um, you might want to consider this also maybe as a complementary guitar to your other guitars because uh, yeah it looks really cool I would say it's a very good um, value for the money I would say Jcraft um, did a good job in this one Alright, so that is our look at the J-Craft LTX1. So this is my first time reviewing a guitar. Actually, it's not a review. It's more of an impression, it's not really a review. Just like to give my thoughts on this one. So yes, um, is there any J-Craft teasers out there? Um, are you happy with your guitar? Not happy? Um, let me know down in the comments below. And let me know what other instruments you like me to check out. Um, yeah, I have some friends uh, at some guitar shops, so maybe I can, you know, borrow some stuff. So if there um, some stuff that you want me to check out, let me know also down in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'm also, yes, um, still working on my stuff, my music stuff, so stay tuned for that. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.